Today we're going to be celebrating four years on YouTube. And as tradition goes, I will be making something rainbow themed. We're going to be making a tiered rainbow cake. It's going to be a marble rainbow inside both cakes. Some buttercream, some rainbow buttercream. I absolutely love how this cake turned out. I want to say thank you to everyone that has supported me throughout these years, that have watched my videos, commented, liked, subscribed, shared, done everything. You all mean so much to me and I'm forever grateful for your support. As always, everything you're going to need, like the recipes, will be in the description box down below. Now let's get started on this cake. Start by scooping six and a half ounces of batter. And then we're going to dye each of these the color of the rainbow and then put them in a piping bag. So I'm going to do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So I got two 6 inch cake pans and a giant cupcake pan. Started with my purple. I'm going to do a tie dye effect for this. And if you notice your pan isn't full enough, you can always dye more batter. I did a double amount of my vanilla cake batter. And then bake your pans at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. You can test with the skewer and if it comes out clean, you know it's ready. Once your cakes have plenty of time to chill, we're going to level them off. You can use a ruler or just eye it. I took off the top and as well as the bottom caramelization on these. The bottom is optional, but if you want to have no browning in between each layer, I suggest removing the caramelization. And then I did a simple syrup on these, so equal parts water and sugar, and then just drenched them with this. It keeps it moist when taking it in and out of the refrigerator. And then I took my giant cupcake cake out and even that off as well. Took the caramelization off of the bottom as well. Remember to always let your cakes cool completely before cutting them and frosting them. The top part of this was a little more difficult, so I just started by chopping off a little bit of that bump to flatten it out a bit. Trimmed off some of that caramelization on the edges to even it out. And then I just evenly removed that bottom portion once I removed the edges. And there's our top part. You can simple syrup those as well, and then we're gonna start filling this. You could also do a rainbow inside to add extra rainbows, or you can just do a plain vanilla frosting or anything else you like. As always, all my recipes are in the bottom in the description box. Do a thin crumb coat onto your cake. This will help keep all the crumbs locked in so that you don't see them on your final coat. And then with the bench scraper, I smoothed out my frosting. And then once you're done, just stick it in the fridge while we frost our giant cupcake. So again, you can do a rainbow inside or just do a simple vanilla frosting in there. Do a crumb coat. This one is going to be a little more difficult because it has those ridges, but just try to add a thin layer as best as possible. Scrape off any excess and then also stick that in the fridge and bring your other one back. And we're going to do our line frosting. Now this part you can get creative, you can do anything you like. You can do a black coat and then add the rainbow on there or any other colors you'd like. Evenly scrape that frosting. And then with this bench scraper that has these teeth, I ended up just using this to get those lines that I'm gonna be adding the frosting into. Once you get those lines, put it in the fridge again, let it chill. We want that frosting hardened. And then we're gonna add our final coat onto our cupcake. The top part I'm not too worried about it since I will be doing rose rainbow rosettes on it. And then I did this line on that part with my spatula to make it look like the cupcake liner. Gave it those little ridges. And then put that back in to chill. And we're gonna start with our frosting is adding these in between each layer. I started with the purple and then I did my blue and then added my green, my yellow, the orange, and finally the red, and then just repeat it until you get to the top. Again, you can do any colors you like, or you can keep one color. Use a bench scraper and scrape that excess off. You're gonna have to do it a couple times to get a clean line. And that's how it looks. To get our rainbow rosettes, get some cling wrap, and then one by one, put your colors onto this, and then roll it up and then place it in your piping bag with whatever tip you'd like. I will leave it in the description box which tip I used. And then I just piped out these rosettes. You can always try to do line work on this cupcake as well, but I kept it pretty simple. And then on my striped cake, I ended up doing this border on the top where I'm gonna add in my cupcake. You can do it before or after placing the cupcake on top. And here's where I place that cupcake. And then I'll give you a look inside so you can see all five of these rainbows together. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. 
If you want to see pictures of this cake and everything I make, I do post on Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. All my links are down below. If you want to leave a suggestion for a future video, put it in the comments down below as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Again, thank you so much for your support and I hope you enjoyed seeing me put five rainbows in one cake. If you want to keep up to date with recipes I post, hit subscribe. And until next time, stay sweet.